Let's continue the story of Pariah, shall we? Following the footsteps of Terminator founder. Two conservatives have been killed, in the name of the liberal crime squad and of course the liberal justice. Over $2,000 has been taxed, and $690 have been spent. We haven't indoctrinated any liberals just yet. We haven't martyred anyone. Nor have we kidnapped anyone. But these things may change, depending upon my mood and what I feel like doing. Let's continue. <laughs> and of course, the liberal elite right there. Alas. So, how are we doing, Pariah? It's been several hours and I've already forgot. You're wanted for murder. Understandable. You got some stuff going on there. Good job. You got your bug still. Work clothes, crowbar. You got some religious hacks. You are completely healed. What's your martial arts skill in dodge at? Martial arts is at 5, dodge is at 3.76. Before I... Uh, well, I guess since I'm playing, one of the things that I can do is explain to you folks a bit more about the game. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Liberal Crime Squad, in order to win this game, if you will, my objective is to turn all of these things you hear, all these things you see, to elite liberal. The President and his Cabinet, Congress, the House and Senate, the Supreme Court Justices must all be elite liberal, and all of the laws must become elite liberal as well. Uh, there are five um, positions on the political spectrum in this game. You can see that ranking at the bottom. Arch conservative, conservative, moderate, liberal, and elite liberal. As I am playing on nightmare mode, the entire game starts like it's a nightmare. <laughs> Most descriptive description ever. This Raspberry Award goes to Grimoth. So, yes, there are many things that you can do in the game to influence and affect the issues. Uh, for you to get a full grasp on everything you could possibly do, you'd have to do some, a lot of playtesting on your own. And you can also dive into some source code yourself. I can't think of every single thing that would influence the issues. I don't know, I've forgotten a lot of stuff about this game. What can you do? You'll also see a list of descriptions here regarding the situation. For example, abortion is a felony equal to murder in our current society and homosexuals are routinely persecuted with no recourse. And military and intelligence interrogators regularly engage in torture. Obviously we want to change those things to be a happy, vibrant lime green. Now, a way for you to keep pulse on the current situation uh, in public opinion is to conduct public opinion polls. So for the first time in this reborn series, rebirth, rejuvenation, revitalization, reincarnation, regeneration, we're going to activate the liberals and tell Pariah to do something. Here you can give individual liberals a bunch of different commands instead of having uh, a squad of up to six liberals act as a team and going forth to stop evil. In this case, I am going to tell him to search opinion polls. This gathers information based upon his computer skill as well as his intelligence. Obviously, the higher your computer skill and the greater your intelligence, the more effective the poll will be. Taking a look at Par Pariah here, he's got a computer skill of only two. But that's a lot better if you don't have any computer skill. An intelligence of ten. Out of, we'll say, infinite. <laughs> infinity. But ten? It's decent. It's decent. It's decent. So, let me go ahead and I'll spend a day here showing you all what this looks like. Raya searched the net for recent opinion polls. 74% of people had a favorable opinion of President Steve Franklin. Now, courtesy of my poll, of course, there's, there's a margin of error. In this case, the poll has a margin of error of 4 points. And uh, due to my character's low computer skill, I'm not able to get information about all of the issues. But I have gotten information about some of the issues. On the right, you'll note public interest in something. That's how much the public cares about a certain issue. And on the left, that shows how much of the public is in favor of something or another. Currently, nothing is really good for us except for the fact that it appears everyone respects the power of the liberal crime squad. But not everyone holds the liberal crime squad in high regard. And significantly fewer people hold the conservative crime squad in content and contempt. But we're making we're making a small difference. 
as we influence the public, um, liberalism will gain greater traction and power within America. If you uh, motivate the public enough, uh, it is possible that you will uh, unlock certain special super cool events that will speed the way to victory for you. Uh, these were implemented because in earlier versions of the game, it could take you forever to uh, convert the entire country to elite liberalism. And in some cases, way back in the day, it was impossible. Uh, but in this current version, there are basically speed tracks. If you're doing exceptionally well, let's say the public will say, you know what, screw it, we're passing a new thing here. All of Congress will immediately be unseated and we will hold elections for all seats. Or something like, Supreme Court filled with arch conservatives. Fuck them. Let's put in elite liberals. They know what we're doing. Stuff like that. Very handy. But keep in mind that uh, the arch conservatives are capable of implementing that repealed the Constitution effect as well. Although I noted it's exceedingly difficult for them to pass that. If you don't give a damn, it can be passed. Well, now that I spent over half of my timeline talking about this, let's actually do something. What do you say, Pariah? Hopefully you won't get killed. That would make me sad. Let's do something safe for you this episode. Safe. Ah, uh, squad is not yet liberal enough. What do I need to equip you with in order to be safe? I tell you what, let's equip you with a black robe. Dun, dun, dun! As I am going to send you to the Halls of Ultimate Judgment, which is the arch-conservative name for the courthouse. Let's go. Filled with lawyers, janitors, and office workers. In death, in doom, in slaughter. Setting off an alarm here will result in a very quick response by conservative law enforcement. Don't agitate the conservatives unless you know what you're doing. Serious business. As a matter of fact, just me being here is inviting death. Because there are lots of high-level conservatives here, like hanging judges, who will easily see through my bullshit. No matter how good I think I am. Now, there are two uh, yellow uh, event uh, tiles in the Halls of Ultimate Judgment. You have a jury room, and you have prison cells for folks who are staying at the courthouse uh, awaiting trial or sentencing or what have you. The way the justice system works in Liberal Crime Squad is, of course, a little different than how it works in real life. But I'm not going to aggravate either of those. The jury room, considering my lack of persuasion and knowledge about law, can result in me angering the jurors and alienating the populace. Uh, alien, alienating the site, rather, which would result in negative opinion. And the cells, that's just not worth me aggravating with. But loot, loot is, loot is good. I was hoping for some super special cool files that are only found in, uh, the Halls of Ultimate Judgment, but what can you do? Also, that was a liberal judge. There's the jury room right there. It's worth noting that these maps will stay the same in terms of layout, although, uh, the random loot goodies will be obviously randomized, because I just said they were random unless the site is forced to be closed down. Uh, whenever it's closed down, it spends some time remodeling, and it opens back up, and the map's completely different. Thankfully, the hanging judge... Oh, shit, death squad officer. Uh, thankfully, I remain disguised and hidden. And I don't think I'm going to risk this one anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. Especially since I didn't open that door. Oh, there we go. That was good. I taught you more about how the game works. Consider this a tutorial in the middle of a series. If you weren't aware, of course, if you already knew how the Crime Squad worked, this was... Well, you got to hear my soothing, sweet, sexy voice. Congratulations on that. It's not like you're the only person on the internet who would ever hear that, so... <laughs> Might as well just be pissing to the wind. See you all later.